You are a sick, sick, twisted, demented, absolutely disgusting human being. You know, that's the honest reaction invoked in about, I would wager, 73 point, around 7, maybe 8 percent of all human beings who have watched my content. That's based on a case study of about a dozen people, give or take a few. But if you don't believe me, take a look at the reactions to what some people think of my fingernails. This is just what I saw in the last, uh, I would even wager, 15 minutes when I just went through the comments, because I knew they'd be there. So take a look at this. Damn, son. Them some long-ass fingernails. Cut your damn nails, sir. <laughs> now that one, I don't know what the last part was about, but I could understand at least the meaning of it. Cut your nails, brother. So creepy. Your fingernails, dude. Now that person was really committed into it because you could see by all the exclamation points they meant what they were saying. I opened YouTube on my phone because I was watching this on a PlayStation. Good background info right there. Just to tell you to cut your fingernails. Now that is the ideal anti-fingernail com comment right there. It gives you that background information so you get to know the person who is giving those remarks. It, it gives you that sense of dedication commitment, and sincerity to the cause. This person said, The pale skin, the long, hideous fingernails, the oversized suits hanging off your skeletal frame. You're like a fast food Nosferatu. And I love you. Keep up the, fa the, the food work. Oh, they almost got me. See, I thought he was going to say keep up the good work. Here. Well, all right. I'll, I'll take that as a compliment. So thank you there. And, uh... Very descriptive. I think you should pursue a, a career in the literary field if you haven't already. This guy says, with a little bit more, more directness, you get all dapper and made up, but can you cut your effing nails? It's absolutely disgusting. And then this, I don't know how, why, I don't know why that one's there. No, I never did that. That's not a frozen puppy. It's not even a taxidermed. Chihuahua, that's just a Chihuahua figurine that was just in that position there. I don't know why that one got put in the mix like that. Anyway, after uh, reviewing previous footage, because I'm really serious about this issue, I determined I didn't have enough proof to prove this point, so here's a few more. This individual, he says that he could kill a, quote, puma with those fingernails. Well, that's quite an assertion. I don't know why he really picked a, a, a puma. Of all the things that there are out there, I don't know really why he picked that animal. Your fingernails look red, too. Well, I think they look more of a pinkish color to me, but tomato, tomato. This guy says his hands look like a dead person's hands. There is no color under his fingernails. He isn't really even alive. Well, that's odd. Wait a minute. This guy says my fingernails look red. And this guy says there's no color under them. Boy, what a paradox that is. I wonder what they really are. Does anyone know what they really are? This guy says... And this goes to show the emotional impact of long fingernails on some, I'm afraid. Why are your fingernails so long, brah? Why have you done this to me? I used to love you. Now I cry every night. Ever since I saw those fingernails. Why? I, I don't know. I just, I, I, I keep them long. That's why. Uh, this person just keeps it straight to the point, kind of like another one, a little, a little bit back. His fingernails are infuriating, that's all. Well, at least you're keeping it straight and to the point. I don't know if that is a picture of, of fingernails 
on on your your avatar there. I don't know what that is, but uh, well, thank you, thank you for being very concise in that regard. And here on a final note, a uh, a triple play, as they say, three in a row. This first guy starts it off by saying, "Your fingernails are freakishly large. They almost go to the first knuckle, man." I I just feel sick typing this. Well, I wouldn't say that they really go to the first knuckle. Maybe they go past a, w a little bit past the second one, but I think saying that they go to the first one is an underestimate, if you ask me. Uh, the second guy said, kind of like the first, uh, continuing with the emotional impact theorem, I'm not sure if I can continue to watch your videos if you won't cut your fingernails. And this person has an interesting approach to it because they're threatening. You know, they're giving a threat. They're saying, listen, I'm not going to watch you anymore unless it's clip clip. So they're threatening. And then this guy says, and I don't know how he got this. I don't know. I don't know where he lives. I don't know if he has a camera somewhere in the house watching me or what. But he says they grow longer when he feasts at night. And then there's a picture of a box next to that. But uh, I don't know how he knows that. I'm kind of creeped out because I don't know how anyone would know that information. But you didn't. You didn't. You didn't see anything. But that. None of it's true, uh, they don't, and that's all that there is to it. title card. And while I try my best to just ignore those comments, blow them off, brush them off, or even have a little fun with them, sometimes I end up asking myself the question, why? Well, all right, that leaves some open ends right there. Some people will be saying, yeah, why, why do you leave your fingernails so long and demented like they are? Uh, but I oftentimes wonder, well, why are some people so abrasive just because maybe my fingernails aren't the way everyone else's are. Why are so many people seemingly so, so furious, so angry, so demanding over such a simple thing as fingernails? It's one thing if, you know, it's, it's one's entire mindset that could be possibly damaging or hurt other people or harm others. But this is just fingernails and the length thereof. And it's not like they're dirty or they're filthy or they're, you know, that I, I use them as a weapon or anything like that. I keep my fingernails long. That's it. I keep them long, but I try and keep them clean. Like Wolverine. But I try and keep them clean and uh, pretty well groomed. As a matter of fact, I do cut my fingernails. I decided to bring these, these here. I have with myself a fingernail trimmer. Right there, it's pretty cute, actually. And, uh, I do, I trim my fingernails. You know, it gets along to a point, and then I'll trim them. And I have a nail file, which I'll, uh, I'll use. I'll actually, sometimes, I could, I could do it really fast, believe it or not. Here, uh, let's just say, maybe the thumb can, needs a little bit of edging here. Smooth out the edges. I know you're supposed to move the board, but I can do it other ways. I take good care of them. I make sure that they're smooth. They're not too sharp. They're smooth, but that they have some length to it. You might ask yourself, well, why? You know, why do I keep them so long? I mean, for what possible reason would you ever do such a grievous thing? And the honest answer has probably stemmed from even my childhood. Because I remember the first time I think I was ever asked about my, my fingernails that I could remember was about 11 years ago. Uh, and I've always had them long. But I remember someone asked me in school once if I wore fake nails. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. But no, I said, no, it's the real deal. You know, they're, they're legitimate. They're real. And that's just how I like them. And that's my honest answer. The reason why I keep my fingernails so long, and the reason why I always have done so, is simply because that's, that's just how I like it. 
It's a means of personal preference. Now, if you'd like, you can play doctor, you know, I'll, I'll gladly, I'll even encourage it. You could go ahead and make up whatever diagnosis you would like. But when I cut my fingernails really short, I, I absolutely detest the way the skin under the fingernails feels having been exposed not to the open air or say touching this table top or touching anything. I always like there to be a boundary to touch things with the fingernail so that the skin underneath the fingernails does not come in contact with anything. Uh, that's honestly why I keep them that long. Uh, that's how I've kept them my entire life. That's how I enjoy sporting them. As I said, I take good care of them. I clean them. You won't even believe it, but I even have a brush that I clean them with. I'll put soap. I'll, I'll brush them. I'll make sure that they're clean. I'll trim them when they get too long. I'll file them down. And uh, it's, it's for that reason, because otherwise, have I not the fingernail there, and it's just really the skin or a really short fingernail, it feels uncomfortable to the point of me physically cringing, believe it or not. And uh, that's why I keep them long, because otherwise it kind of makes day-to-day -day activities uh, extremely uncomfortable, both physically and mentally. So I just let the fingernails grow out, and it, it's, it's just a very familiar, comfortable feeling, and that's why I, I wear them the way that I wear them. You know, I, as I said, I take good care of them, I manicure them, but it's a matter of, well, anything, even just grabbing the pen, grabbing the fingernail improvement devices, having that boundary there, touching them with the fingernail, it's just something in terms of, I don't even know what you would call it, not even dexterity, but just the way things are, I guess, that that's how I feel comfortable, and if it's not there, I mean, I literally, I, I completely cringe. I mean, maybe if this channel ever gets to a million subscribers, maybe I'll, I'll cut the fingernails, but let's not get ahead of ourselves with that one. But that's honestly the reason why. Sometimes I'll sit there and I'll sometimes say, you know, I wish some people would be more understanding and respectful of such a small little thing, you know? I mean, it's just your fingernails. That's, that's all that it is. It might not be like everyone else's. It might not be what's considered popular or in vogue or, or something that's looked very highly upon in today's society. But it's your fingernails. That's all that it is to it. Your fingernails. It's not like I'm using them for some sort of nefarious crime spree or anything like that. It's just a matter of personal taste and comfort. I'm never harming anyone with them, you know? That's all that there is to it. So sometimes it, it just confuses me as to why some people are so abrasive and, and, and just so, so, it seems so angered and fed up over the fact of something that, that trivial. I try not to really think about the trivial things. If anything, I try and savor the small things in life and, you know, never, never really take anything for granted. And I try and think, my fingernails, is that really such a big deal? But I suppose to some it is. Nonetheless, I, I sometimes wish that people would just be more understanding of such a small thing. It's, it's just what I do, you know? Some people, they're even more understanding of the suits, which, I mean, that is someone's full-blown appearance. But the fingernails, that's a big no-no, you know? You can, yeah, you could, you could do whatever you want. You could think however you want. You could have whatever ideology you want. But when you have long fingernails, that's it for you, buddy. I just don't get it, but what can you do, right? I've come to just accept it. I've come to accept the fact that, you know, a lot of people, they may never understand it. I don't mind explaining it, though, and sometimes the comments, well, they certainly do make for some entertainment. But that's just the reason why I keep my fingernails the way that I keep them. That's all that there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. I just keep them longer because that's how I feel comfortable. And that's it. I've tried cutting them before, and... Every single time, I, I feel like I'm squirming in my seat. It's, it's that uncomfortable to me. So I just leave them comfortable, but I take care of them. That's all that there is to it. I hope that explained uh, this, this long, long-standing, sought-after question. And hopefully having this been explained, all of the secrets to the universe will now be unlocked. I imagine in maybe about 40 minutes or so, there might be this huge earthquake and 
maybe this big box is going to come out of the ground somewhere and it's going to open up and all of the secrets to the universe are going to be unlocked now thanks to this incredible revelation. But that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. I hope this answered a few questions. I, I do wish people were more understanding of, of things, especially as, as trivial and, and really meaningless as just their fingernails, and focused more on some of the bigger problems we deal with day to day. But what can you do? Thank you for watching. Hope you got something out of this, whether it be a few laughs or some insight or anything in between. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And on a final note, if you're interested, you could find some Report of the Week merchandise on our Teespring store, teespring.com slash stores slash the Report of the Week. That's teespring.com slash stores slash the Report of the Week. And uh, you can find many a product there. Check it out if you're interested. Got a little bit of everything. Thank you for watching. Take care. I'm your host, the Report of the Week.